It begins with light, the kind of soft morning light that gently kisses the earth awake. Across endless green fields, the wide leaves of banana plants glisten with dew. The air smells of soil, rain, and life itself. Here in the heart of tropical farmlands, the humble banana begins its remarkable journey. A story of patience, devotion, and quiet resilience. Check this bunch. Make Farmers sure walk slowly through Looks the good. fields Send at dawn. Their boots press into the, the damp ground, leaving prints that fade as the sun rises. Before a single shoot is planted, the earth must be prepared. They loosen the soil with heavy hose, turning it over to let the sun cleanse it of hidden insects and disease. Each handful of dirt is tested by touch. It must feel alive, not too sandy, not too tight. A perfect balance of air and moisture, so roots can breathe. Bananas don't grow from seeds. They are born from life itself, from a part of another banana plant, a sucker cut carefully from its mother. Each one carries the memory of generations before it. The farmers clean the roots, trim the leaves, and plant it gently into the soft ground. Around each sucker, a small mound is built to protect it from standing water. Then they wait, not idly, but faithfully. In the weeks that follow, tiny green blades rise from the soil. The fields slowly transform into a sea of emerald. Farmers visit daily, checking the moisture, pulling weeds, trimming away broken leaves. Their work is quiet but constant, the kind that depends more on discipline than love. Weeds compete for sunlight and nutrients, so each unwanted plant must be pulled by hand. It's backbreaking work, done under the relentless tropical sun, yet it's done with pride. Bananas are fragile creatures disguised as strong ones. Their trunks look sturdy, but they're not wood. They're layers of leaves tightly wrapped together, filled with water and soft fibers. A strong gust of wind can bend them. Heavy rain can break them. To protect them, farmers drive bamboo stakes into the soil and tie each plant gently so it can stand tall against storms. As the plants grow taller, their leaves broaden and cast wide shadows. Beneath that green canopy, the air becomes thick and damp. Tiny insects buzz, birds sing from faraway trees, and sometimes the earth steams after rain. Farmers know these sounds by heart. They are signs that life here is healthy, but they also know how fragile that balance can be. Disease hides in the shadows. A single fungal spot left alone can spread through the entire field. That's why old and sick leaves are removed regularly, allowing air and light to reach deep inside each cluster. Then comes one of the most beautiful sights in farming, the birth of the banana blossom. It emerges like a purple heart, hanging heavy from the top of the plant, each petal slowly peeling away to reveal rows of tiny fruits inside. This is the beginning of the banana's true journey. Farmers carefully remove the lower blossoms to focus the plant's energy on the upper bunches, the ones that will ripen into sweet golden fruit. As months pass, the bunches grow heavier, the bananas remain green but firm, protected by their thick, waxy skin. Rain falls, wind blows, the sun returns. The cycle repeats endlessly. Farmers continue to care for them, trimming, watering, guarding against pests. When storms come, they tie ropes from one plant to another, creating a living network of strength across the field. Sometimes, despite their effort, nature wins. A typhoon sweeps through, leaving hundreds of bent trunks on the ground. The next morning, the farmers return silently. They cut away what's lost, salvage what they can, and plant new suckers. That quiet resilience, that's what keeps the world fed. Around nine months after planting, the fields begin to glow. The fruits have turned from deep green to pale yellow, and the air carries a faint sweetness. Harvest time. Harvesting sure bananas is both an art and a science. It demands precision Got and it. patience. This one Each bunch can weigh up to 40 pounds, These hanging are high really above a today. worker's head. One man yeah, supports the heavy cluster on his shoulder, while another makes a clean cut at the stem. The bunch is then lowered carefully into waiting arms, never allowed to hit the ground. A single bruise could spoil the fruit's appearance and shorten its life. On large plantations, teams move like clockwork. One group cuts, another carries, and a third loads the song. bunches into padded the crates. The rhythm of yeah, machete slicing through stems echoes through the valley. Laughter mixes with the sound of heavy breathing and rustling leaves. 
Despite the weight, there's pride in their movements. Pride in handling something Make that sure took months of care to up. reach this point. Each Guys, harvested bunch is carried now. to a collection point where it's gently loaded onto trucks or suspended from cable lines that glide across the plantation. These systems keep the bananas from bumping against each other during transport. Once loaded, they're taken straight to the processing area. Because once cut, the race against time begins. At the factory's entrance, the crates are unloaded and weighed. Oh, Workers wear rubber <laughs> aprons and gloves, ready to begin the next phase. The bananas are soaked in long this tanks of clean water for today. about 10 yeah, minutes. The, the water removes dirt, latex sap, and small insects. It's a gentle bath that prepares them for inspection. For Each bunch is then separated right into Keep smaller the clusters. Moving. The familiar hands of four to six bananas we see in markets. They move slowly along foam line conveyors where workers check every detail, color, size, shape, even the smoothness of the peel. Technology assists the process. Cameras scan each piece to ensure consistent quality. If a banana is too short, too curved, or slightly damaged, it's removed from the line. Around 5% are rejected. Did you hear about the shift next week? But none are wasted. Yeah, I think they are Some are sent to schedule. local markets, others to be dried, fried, or turned into banana flour. Those that pass inspection are packed in polythene bags, vacuum sealed to preserve freshness. Air is removed so the bananas stay firm and ripe longer during their journey to distant markets. Each bag is then boxed, labeled, and stacked in refrigerated containers. From tropical farms, these bananas will soon travel by truck, ship, and plane to breakfast tables around the world. But that's only half the story. What happens to the rest of the banana tree, the trunk, leaves, and fibers, reveals another layer of ingenuity. In a nearby section of the facility, Powerful machines cut down old banana trunks. Inside these seemingly useless stems lies a treasure, banana fiber. It's strong, flexible, and completely natural. Workers feed the trunks into fiber extractors, sharp rotating drums that strip away the outer layers and separate long, silky strands from within. The sound is rough, mechanical, but what comes out looks almost like golden thread. These fibers are washed, dried under the sun, and bundled for transport. Some go to factories that make biodegradable ropes, make mats, sure those are clean and baskets. They go up. Others are spun Guys, into fine in threads used in textiles and eco-friendly paper. The strength of banana fiber can reach 1,500 newtons per centimeter. How many more hooks on this side? Strong enough About for 10. industrial we use, clear them before break. yet soft enough for handmade crafts. This transformation from plant waste to valuable material shows how modern agriculture is this changing. Bunch looks good. Send it it's through. no longer okay, just about growing food, but about respecting every part of the harvest. The banana tree, once cut down and left to rot, now finds a new life as a sustainable resource. Even the leftover pulp after fiber extraction is dried and turned into Are organic fertilizer. Are you taking fertilizer. the overtime shift Saturday? Nothing is wasted. I think so. If they Everything still need returns people. to the earth or to human use, closing the circle of Careful nature with this and technology. One is a bit heavy. <laughs> Banana paper is one of the okay, most fascinating thanks. products born from this process. Almost done Workers with this soak box. the dried fibers in water, sure mash them into a thick on. pulp, and Got spread it, it evenly on flat good. screens. As it dries, it becomes smooth, durable, Make sure that and subtly textured. Tight in the corner. Perfect for notebooks, crafts, or packaging. It carries Are a faint natural scent, a reminder of its origin. Each sheet tells a quiet story about sustainability and the potential hidden in what others might discard. Did you hear about As the, the day tonight? ends, the factory quiets down. Oh, the yeah. last trucks I'm leave so with boxes of weekend. bright yellow fruit, <laughs> heading toward ports and cities far away. The workers wash their hands, wipe their faces, and step outside. The sun dips below the horizon, painting the fields in amber light. From the distance, new banana shoots wave in the evening wind, the next generation already growing. The life of a banana is more than a sequence of steps. It's a reflection of balance between humans and nature, tradition and innovation, patience and right progress. <laughs> yeah, it shows how something though. ordinary can carry extraordinary effort behind it. Every banana we eat is the result of thousands of hands, hours, and heartbeats. In its journey from soil to shelf, the banana unites the farmer's strength, Make sure the those engineer's are clean precision, they go up. Yeah, and the earth's it. generosity. Did Jose it teaches ship? us that sustainability is not a slogan, it's a practice built from respect for every detail, every life, every cycle. And so, 
the story comes full circle. From a single shoot in the ground to a golden fruit in your hand, the banana's path reminds us that growth takes time, Next box care, is ready. and hope. It's a okay, story of creation, transformation, and renewal. Told quietly in the we rhythm of fields and factories. Today. We are. This is the Let's journey of the banana. The story of how nature and human hands work together to feed Did the world. Did you hear about the extra shift build, on Saturday? To inspire. Yes, I think I'll and take it sustain. if they offer time and a half. Only on Rescue Stories Channel, where every harvest holds a story worth telling. Make sure these are tightly packed before they move on. <laughs> Got it. The next batch is ready here. look perfect today. Yeah, we're moving fast on this batch. Keep it up. How many boxes have we done so far? I think this is the the tenth one already. <laughs> How many boxes left for this batch? About 20, then we switch to the smaller size. <laughs> 